Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Good evening, everyone. Jeff- good evening. It's actually good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Good to be here with you on a crisp fall afternoon. If I was in the Midwest, it would be beautiful weather for football, and it is beautiful weather for football, real football, not the fake football that we now see in professional football, but real football, high school football back in the day, a crisp fall afternoon. It's actually rather warm in central northern California, Stockton, California. Welcome, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, President and Founder of Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Topic for today's Facebook Live is creating money. I'm going to let the Facebook Live populate and then we'll move into the into the inspirational portion of today's Facebook Live. Breathe, release, and let go. I believe my wife has just come in to my house for the first time, our house for the first time in several days. Heather, good to see you this afternoon. Everyone breathe, release, and let go. It is Tuesday, two for Tuesday, and today is a great day to be a business owner. No longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings. Good evening, good afternoon, everyone. It's good to be here with you. Topic for today's Facebook Live is creating money. Hi, Heather, how are you today? You are first on the Facebook Live today. Breathe, release, and let go. I've been cranking out content this morning. So if you saw any of the content, it's content that is just fresh that I just sent out in a very creative afternoon. So your dialogue with money is your, is the, this is the question, is your dialogue with money conducive to the creation of it? Kathy, good to see you this afternoon. I was your coach the year before carrying into last year, honored to see you on today's Facebook Live. Thank you everyone for all of the support, love and prayers you've been sending to my wife. She's now into day number nine of her explant removal surgery and yesterday she had her tubes out. So that is amazing that she's she's now, she just came in the house. It's the first time she's even walked down the sidewalk. So the minute I finished Facebook Live, I'm gonna spend some QT quality time with my wife. So let's move into the topic for today's Facebook Live. Now this is a direct quote from a man who I had the privilege of coaching back in 2001 and two. His name was Phil Lott. He wrote the highly inspiring book, Money is My Friend in 1979, and he published, or he sold over 500,000 copies of that book, primarily through churches throughout the United States where he would speak and he was a, an original money coach. Phil hired me to be his coach early in my career, and then I bought the rights to his book, Money Is My Friend, and then I republished that book, and that really launched my career in understanding your dialogue with money, my dialogue with money, and I really began to next level that, and the personal relationship you have with asking, deserving, and receiving will also be a byproduct of the money that you create, and if you're find yourself barely getting by, you're in lack, you're in poverty consciousness, you have a lot of liability debt, I completely understand, I've been there before, but at this point in your life, it's time that you start to create a healthy dialogue with money, because you're going to require it in the coming years. I mean, the the 7% to 8% inflation, or 7 to 8% mortgage, gas prices in California are in the sixes and sevens, and it doesn't look like there's any relief in 2024 in the election year. And then if certain people get into office, it definitely will not get any better. So it's going to be your responsibility to be creative, be innovative, and create ways to create money so that your dialogue with money is improving. If you're in a direct sales company, a network marketing company, you own a small business, you're an insurance agent, you're a real estate agent, it is important that you become skilled at this. Now, right before this call, I read that right now, houses are selling at the slowest rate since 2008. I just read that right before 
this Facebook Live that we're back to 2008. Houses are moving at the slowest rate since 2008. And, that, and the interest rate today is, as you said, 8% interest. So if you're refinancing a house, if you're going through a divorce and you re refinance a house so that you can own that asset, I mean, you're looking at an extra payment of $1,000 a month or more if you were locked in at the 3% and now it's 8%. So these are situations you want to understand. You also want to understand the laws that govern money, numismatic law. One of my clients that I coach today, Jonathan Mason, Jonathan is a top tier insurance professional who achieves, who achieves seven figures annually every year as an insurance broker. And he is very skilled and he's my agent when it comes to investing in insurance products, especially indexed annuities. And if you don't understand that particular money vehicle, it's important that you begin to understand where you can put your money in challenging times so that your money is outside of some of the banking traditional lending industry or banking tools that you're familiar with. It's gonna be your responsibility, your ability to respond, to be creative and innovative in how you create your money so that you have leveraged money, asset money, money that's coming to you effortlessly and easily. There's a man I just heard of just recently, Dan Coe. He writes on the art of focus and I understand that he achieves six million dollars a year, Dan Co, K O E, with his online programs. One of my clients is a follower of hers and I, his, and I started following him yesterday. So it means your creativity with money is going to be important. And even though you can, the world will tell you it's the most challenging times in world history, and that is the fact. That doesn't mean that you can't find a vehicle that you can create a livelihood in free enterprise where you can create multiple six and potentially seven figure income results from the comfort of your home or as a sales professional or however you go about it, that is up to you. It can be online, it can be a digital marketer, it can be an online marketer, an affiliate marketer, network marketer, coaching, branding, influencing, affluencing, selling patriotic products, whatever it is that you wanna sell, it's gonna be your responsibility to become skilled at that, asking, deserving, and receiving, and not talking yourself out of it. Procrastination is the thief of many people's dreams. Procrastination becomes avoidance. So when it comes to recruiting, selling, attracting clients, this is where many people go into fight or flight. One of my clients early this morning told me of a woman who's a major influencer in the patriotic world, and I immediately sent that woman a message and introduce myself to her. That's what you would learn to do, is you have the reflex of when you hear a tip, or when you hear someone gives you some insight, you wanna be able to move right into the action of it, rather than going into the fight or flight of it. So that you're a skilled recruiter, a skilled asker, you're skilled at, as an opportunist, you're creating value through the service you perform, and you're attracting your reality quality like-minded, and then you fill in the blank. Success seekers, clients, customers, people who are health conscious, people who detox, who cleanse, people who are intuitive, people who are naturopathic, holistic, whatever it is that you, that you have an affinity for, that you have that feel for, you wanna have the self-esteem. So here's confidence and here's self-esteem. Completely two different distinctions. Confidence is how you feel about something. Self-esteem is how you feel about yourself. Now, one of my clients attracted a very influential woman and the bell went off in her head so that she went into fight or flight and she said, who am I to attract this woman? The woman started asking her questions about the business venture that she represented. My client was telling me she went into fight or flight. Fortunately, she did not talk herself out of the business because she's been coaching with me for six months. Prior to that, there's a high probability that she would have sabotaged the opportunity because of her uncomfortability with influence, affluence, money, and a multitude of other self-esteem issues that keep people recreating the same situation to fulfill the same feeling. Now, for the rest of this year, moving into next year, I'm going to add on to, along with my, my teachings of dialogue with money, specifically letting go, I'm gonna add on to that focus. Because focus is a skill that very few people understand. 
And if you're not focused, you're unfocused. In a gray world, this becomes black and white. If you're overwhelmed, you're gonna have challenge with focus. If you're addicted to a set of emotions that lead to procrastination and avoidance, you will have challenge with focus. You will have challenges finishing the most mundane details like dishes and other situations and all these other situations that compound that keep you from creating money because you live in an overwhelmed body, in an overwhelmed space, putting situations off to the last minute so you can create the neurochemical cardio cocktail, the adrenaline high that a junkie gets from shiny object syndrome and from drama, chaos, and fight or flight. And this is what many people seek, is they seek pleasure rather than peace. They seek the instant gratification. Creating money is a methodical process. You can, be, you can virtually become a millionaire in a relatively short period of time, provided you have the acumen, you have the skill set, the mindset, you have the belief, the consciousness, and you're able to find a vehicle that you can monetize or you invent something that you're extremely inspired by. And if that is the case, then you can absolutely monetize that. There are certain there are certain vehicles that you can step right into that other people have created the platform. There's going to be affiliate marketing, network marketing, insurance, real estate. I mean, you can step into some of these some of other people's businesses and excel in it, but not unless you have focus. If you don't have focus, then you're going to be overwhelmed. And that's where most of the world lives. Affirmation for the day. I do not get overwhelmed. Tell yourself that. I am letting go of overwhelmed. Overwhelmed means you have so much going on at one time. You're Jojo the Indian circus boy or Indian circus girl in an overwhelmed body, avoiding and procrastinating minor and major details. That's what happens when people are overwhelmed. Then they don't com complete tasks. They don't complete duties. They tend to carry excess weight. They use alcohol and food and other outside influences to take the edge off of their high anxiety. And they want that immediate gratification that food, alcohol, a purchase, chronic debting, any multitude of situations that they'll receive to take that edge off. And if that is you, it is time to be able to understand the cause that creates the effect of why you do what you do, have a better dialogue with asking, receiving, deserving, and being able to create the money that will allow you to live the good life. In the late 80s and 90s, I was listening to the great Jim Rohn on audio cassette. Then I started to watch his VHS recordings of the Jim, the, the Mastery of Dynamic Life. I was listening to that content back in the day. And Jim Rohn used to ask this question, what constitutes the good life? Jim Rohn used to also used to say, my favorite quote by him was, if you have pennies in your pocket, zero in your bank account, creditors calling, it's time to change your philosophy. Because your dialogue with money has you in a position where you either have assets or you have liabilities. And if you're not creating the assets, then you're going to live in a lot of liability debt. Josh Morin has just joined me. Josh is also an insurance professional, someone I highly recommend. He understands the indexed annuities. He understands the insurance products that most of the world do not understand. Very few people understand the insurance vehicles and how you can create wealth and protect your wealth with insurance vehicles. Most of society is completely seduced by having a broker, and the broker typically has an 8% hidden fee that most people do not understand. If you're gonna do any investing, it would be with a fee-only fiduciary broker where the fees are not hidden. And in today's world, it's very volatile to step out there. I coach one woman who has made over $350,000 in the market today as an online investor. She understands that she's a single mother of one. She is a... A, um, she is in the spe she's a speech pathologist, and she is retiring from that at the at the end of at the at the beginning of January, the first of this year, because she's able to make multiple six figures from her computer at home. That is a niche that she has created. Now, in that niche with money, you have to also be prepared. 
to go up and down. So you can have a bad day, bad week, bad month, but you, bad meaning whatever that means to the market. But that means that it doesn't have to be bad for you because you have to be able to adapt and adjust to losses and gains in that type of situation. So that requires a man or woman that is an emotional state that can ride that roller coaster. And so money can be a roller coaster. If you're just scraping by, if you're just attracting enough, it can be very overwhelming. And this is what happens to many people. Your affirmation for the day is I'm not overwhelmed. I don't get overwhelmed. I'm letting go of being overwhelmed. I'm in recovery of being overwhelmed. I am in the now. The more that you live in that present state of peace rather than seeking pleasure, and that's what many people do, they, they would rather have instant gratification than they would have peace. The way that you create peace with money is you look over your, the annals of your life, you watch the movie of your life and understand how you've been conditioned to behave with money. 20,000 meals with the wrong financial planners. By the time you're 18 years old, you've sat at the dinner table, the breakfast table, the lunch table, the school lunch table, you've dined with relatives and other people, and a lot of their talk about money comes from lack, poverty consciousness, scarcity. Seldom are you going to be grown up or grow up with or be mentored by people who have a healthy dialogue with money. I had the opportunity to mentor with a millionaire when I was a teenager, and I learned much more from him than I did from anyone in my circle of influence. I took classes in, government, in college economics and government, and none of that taught me anything about money. None of the business classes. I learned money working in restaurants, and I, was ha I would have two and three jobs at one time. And then in my 20s, I started to start my own businesses. And when I started to start my own businesses, that's when I started to really dream about the good life. I started to dream about going to Europe. I went to France when I was 26 years old. I spent three weeks in the French and Italian Riviera. When I was 27 years old, I spent one month in Rio, or I spent two weeks in Rio de Janeiro. I spent a week in New York. I started to travel. That was one of my passions, was to experience the world, to experience culture. I started to dream and romance of the house I wanted to purchase, of real estate assets, a car collection, an autograph collection. I wanted to build a museum for myself to house my treasures. I started to create a vision of the outcome I sought to create, and money was that vehicle. Love makes the world go round. Money pays for the trip. The more you understand that, the more that you'll be put yourself in a position where you can create your prosperity so you can practice reciprocity. So your prosperity means flow. Your objective is to be in the flow with money so you have money moving to you effortlessly and easily without being overwhelmed. In the last three days, I created three organic leads of three people that hired me to be their coach. I paid this much for that lead. I paid this much for that lead. See right there? Zero. That much. So that means that my lead cost was zero and my profit was 100%. So Josh just posted a, a uh, affirmation, money shows up frequently. That's also, you'll attract what you expect. If you're worried, if you're in lack, if you're overwhelmed, you're gonna attract your reality, people and situations to fulfill those feelings. In this book right here, Little Money Bible, chapter two, the chapter is called Finding flow. That means money flows to you easily and effortlessly. One of my clients, Tom Nash, and Josh, you've met Tom. Tom has a practice of finding money. If it's a penny, a dime, or a quarter, and he has found bills at different times, he's, the most he's ever found was a $100 bill. Tom is on this call frequently. Tom has been my client since 2000. Tom lives in St. Louis, Missouri. He lives, on the, he lives actually on the Illinois side, Granite City, Illinois, of St. Louis, Missouri. Tom frequently, at 69 years old, rides anywhere from 75 to 100 miles a week on his bike. He also owns his own business. He sells advertising on benches. He's owned that business for over 15 years. He achieved six figures. And when he's riding his bike, he's conditioned himself to look for money. And so on his bike rides, he invariably finds coins, and occasionally bills. And that means that money comes easily and effortlessly to him. 
Tom also lives free of all debt. Not debt free, free of all debt. Tom met the great Phil Lott through me in one of my workshops and seminars back in 2002. And he also had the opportunity to mentor with the late Phil Lott. Melody, good to see you this afternoon. My mother-in-law, Romilda de Freitas. Freitas is here this afternoon. Romilda is a true angel taking care of my wife as she's in day number nine of her explant surgery. Thank you for being on today's Facebook Live. So like what I have, what I have done is I have created over the last 30 plus years a way to be free of debt. My wife and I are very grateful that we own two properties, no debt. Two seven-figure properties free of debt in a small, a smaller California city. Not debt-free, free of debt. I, am, I have no debt and am, am proud of myself for going through that process so that when, when I borrow money, it's very short-term loans and I tend to borrow money from myself so that I'm paying no interest, no points, and you can create a dialogue with money like this yourself. It's going to require money discipline, asking, deserving, and receiving, feeling comfortable with the creation of money, wealth, being able to lead teams, feeling comfortable with leading people, mentoring people, not talking yourself out of opportunities, being in the flow. If you can, purchase this book, Little Money Bible. It's a very little book. I'll bring another book to my call later tonight. But chapter two in here is a very, very good chapter. It's called Finding Flow. And when you're in the flow, that means you're flowing. It's like it's movement. It's water. It's the flow. It's prosperity. It's prospero. No longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings. So my wife and her mother have the luxury of being in a house next door that's fully staged, fully set up, where she can recover in that house for the first two weeks of, ex of after of post explant surgery. I mean, that is an absolute luxury that I was able to create by owning a business. Now, I I operate my business in an in in my in my first house in a in a what used to be a bedroom that has a bathroom in it, a custom steam room in it, a walk-in closet, and I have set at this desk right here, this very desk, the desk I'm in, I've set in this desk since 2000. I'll, I'll show you what this desk looks like. So I've sat right here at that desk since 2000. I've sat right here and created results from this desk. I bought this home in January of 2000. I paid, it's, I paid it off and rehabbed this house. I put over half a million dollars into the rehab of it with cash money, non-borrowed money, over a 20 plus year period, creating a custom home that's over 120 years old in a beautiful neighborhood, in a college neighborhood. You could do the same situation. I'm from a town this big. Nobody mentored me. I am self-made. I am self-taught. You can do the exact same situation. You are good enough. Those of you I coach, I am committed to assisting you the rest of this year not only with finding flow, but finding focus. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm developing a, a new platform on called Focus Consciousness. I'm going to be teaching along with letting go concurrently. So here's letting go, and here's focus. So that they, this is this. So you're letting go in a focused, relaxed body. I'm going to add that into my affirmation. I've, I've said for years, letting go in a relaxed body. I'm adding as of today, feel free to borrow this, Letting go in a focused, relaxed body. And focus is not intense. Focus is relaxed. It's a methodical, systemized, organized, detailed focus. It's very methodical. It has high consciousness. It flows. There's no pressure. There's no intensity. There's no fight or flight. There's no doubt. You're in the flow. You can master this. I did. You did. Once upon a time, I was rock bottom. More than once upon a time. You don't have to hit rock bottom. Wherever you are today, you are good enough. If you would like to speak to me as a former client regarding coaching 
or a, you'd like to speak to me about a free 20-minute coaching call, or you're an existing client, send me a message. I have a unique marketing proposition for you. Once again, thank you, everyone, for for my wife's for sending prayers and comments to my wife. I'll be sending putting another post up as she is in the recovery in the middle of the week. She's walking in the neighborhood. That's an amazing accomplishment. After nine days, drug free, medication free. It is amazing. Thank you much, very much, everyone. Bob Campbell, good to see you. Scott Flaney, always a pleasure. Scott Lucas, good to see you, my brother. Congratulations on all of your sobriety. And all of you that are experiencing another year of sobriety, congratulations. You deserve it. Have a great afternoon.